So I'm Steve uh, from Bailina Productions. I basically make uh, animations on YouTube, uh, specifically around Sonic the Hedgehog. And um, I've been doing it for many, many years, and I hope to be doing it for many more. And I love everything I do. Awesome. When did you start doing that? Um, I started in 2008, so it's been uh, a little over 10 years now. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, so is this what you do full time or do you have, you know, another job or other things, aspects of your job that you do? Or is it just the YouTube and the animation? Because I, I think I saw something about uh, I'm very blessed. Uh, I'm very blessed. It's my full time uh, job. Um, I spend uh, many, many hours working on it. Uh, I think if I had a regular job, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Awesome. Um, now, what draws you to animation and voice acting? What what got you into that? Um, well, as far as voice acting goes, uh, I was just sort of, I was born at the right time uh, because the early 90s was all about um, more classical animation, even on television. And it was very really inspiring that there was just people who could uh, wake up in the morning and go and just kind of be goofy in a voice booth and make their living that way. Uh, I, I, that's what I truly aspire to be as a full-time voice actor. Uh, animation for me started off as just a, merely as a way to demonstrate my voiceover capabilities, but it turned into something else when I actually uh, started animating for real. And uh, when it comes down to it, I would much rather voiceover than animation, but I've actually become pretty good at animating just by practicing over time. Wow. How'd you get introduced to animating? Was it just something that you picked up when you started your YouTube channel or did you pick it up somewhere else and then decide to start um, um, the Bellina Productions? It was actually a means to an end um, because I had started off by using static screenshots and adding the voice in afterwards. But um, as just my channel grew into this titan that it's become, uh, I had to make my content better for my viewers. So it just, if you take a look at the beginning of my channel to the newest things of my channel, you'll see there's a huge evolution. So in basically, I just picked it up on my own as just a way to, I need to be better. Uh, I was never trained. I didn't go to college or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I just, it just sort of picked it up along the way. Awesome. Um, so what's your Christmas with Sonic series all about? So Christmas with Sonic uh, is a series that we started many years ago. Um, actually, actually been 10 years ago. Uh, I think in 2011, it'll be 10 years. Uh, we've, we've done one just about every year. We only missed uh, last year because we were pretty busy. But um, it started off as a sequel to one of our most popular videos um, that was actually almost completely unrelated, but we couldn't come up with a good sequel, but we wanted to do a Christmas special because uh, Christmas is that special time of year, of course, and so full of fun and wonder. And uh, Christmas with Sonic's main root just comes from, we wanted to make relatable Christmas videos for everyone. It just couldn't be just Sonic the Hedgehog running around for Christmas. It was more so we wanted to hit that special place of awkward, uncomfortable Christmases for people, but at the same time, those could be the best Christmases as well. Sure. Um, now, can we talk a little bit about events that you've done with Dreamscape in the past? I know you have one coming up in a couple of days, um, but this isn't your first time working with us, correct? Yes. Yeah. I've uh, I've been Joe uh, Joe Sawani, uh, the wonderful guy he is, came to me a couple years ago. I believe it was about five years ago. Uh, and he said, oh, I love your videos, and we have this, this, this charity foundation, we'd love for you to do something. And I had been waiting for a charity to come along because I always, I, I love giving back, um, especially with what Joe's message is about helping the families with these, you know, these, these kids that have, you know, rare disabilities and diseases. And I think that that's a really good cause is to help the parents around Christmas because, you know, unfortunately, the way things are, it costs so much money just to stay alive these days and and for joe and the dreamscape foundation to want to help these parents that is really great and um i love working with the dreamscape foundation uh, i i would never turn them down uh it's it's been a lot of fun too it, it it hasn't been just great to give back but it's also just been eventful you know we have we've had so many good times with the dreamscape streams and i cannot wait to to dive back into it on friday 
Awesome. Um, now, what is it do you think about, you know, events like these and, and you know, charity streams um, that involve video games that really bring people together um, and achieve such great results? Do you think that there's anything in particular that makes it so successful? You know, I, I do, and, and that's just because when it comes to video games, when you stream, it, it's long-term content because most video games are between five to ten hours, and that's the perfect amount of time to stream something. And also, especially for when it comes to giving donations, it's always great because it's easy to have a goal. Um, you, it's not like where if you're just drawing or something, it's just you're you're just you're doing what someone asks you to do. Where with video games. Um, and the like, random things can happen. You never know. So I think it's the unpredictability uh, of video games and, and the fact that you can have situations that you didn't think were going to happen because you never know. If you play like a bad game for a stream, it could be hilarious. If you play a serious game, you know, the audience can be engaged. And all the while, you know, you're helping out kids and, and it's Christmas time. So that's the best time to help kids, I say. Um, yeah. Um, so other than the charity event, is there anything else uh, you're working on now? Any projects that you want to talk about? Um, well, currently we are in the middle of making another Christmas with Sonic. It will be out uh, the weekend before Christmas if uh, things go well. Um, and besides that, there's just always something going on at Bailey Productions. Um, my content does take time to make because it's just it's home-baked uh, goodness. And uh, yeah, and that's really it right for now. Awesome. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your community uh, that you attract to your streams and your YouTube channel? Like, what, what's your demographic? Uh, what are the people like? What's the vibe like? Well, um, for the most part, my audience is usually younger. I would say the the main demographic is between like 13 to 18 years old. Uh, my community is full of really uh, wonderful people, honestly. Uh, they always come out for me whenever I need them. Uh, there's there's lots of them, and usually it's 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 very much a family feeling whenever uh, I stream or anything, especially when again I ask for you know when I have the cause, they all come right to it. Uh, my community has been going strong for a while, and they usually don't let me down, so I'm very happy to have them. Awesome. Um, and can you tell us, last but not least, a little bit about the charity stream you're doing with us? What you have planned? Sure. So uh, this Friday, uh, December uh, 7th, and then on Saturday night, December 8th at uh, 8 p.m. Pacific, we're going to be streaming the all-new Super Smash Brothers, which is a big, humongous game that everybody's looking forward to. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, just a stream for a couple hours each night, and uh, we may let the audience join us in some battles. And the, the part that uh, most will uh, like to know is that if we can make the entire donation goal uh, within the first hour of playing, I'm actually going to play the notoriously bad Sonic Forces in its entirety just to make sure that we make uh, that money. Um, and even if we don't um, make it within the first hour, Super Smash Brothers is going to be fantastic. If uh, the tournaments are ready, we're going to have those for uh, everyone who's donating and everybody who's there. So there's a reason to show up. And then you never know what kind of hilarious antics will happen in Super Smash Brothers. Awesome, yeah. So um, what's the, the goal exactly for this charity stream? What are you trying to hit? We would like, we would like to make fifteen hundred dollars if that's possible. Um, and we'd like to make more. We have made in the past. We have we have had uh, donations where uh, they've done the entire thing and within a half hour and so on. But fifteen hundred dollars is our goal. It'd be fantastic, and these families need it more than anyone. 